Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve common Windows update errors such as error occurred, we ran into a problem when connecting to the Windows update service, or just general errors that relate to that spectrum of, or relate to that general idea. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the start menu, type in troubleshoot, Best match should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to scroll down on the right side underneath Get Up and Running and select Windows Update, Resolve Problems that prevent you from updating Windows, and then select Run the Troubleshooter. Give this a moment to run here. So hopefully it would have been able to identify the issue here, so just select close, restart your computer, and hopefully I would have been able to resolve the problem when you attempt to run Windows Update once again. If you're still having a problem, attempt to open up the start menu, type in services, best match, or come back with services here. Go ahead and left click on that. First service you want to locate is the background intelligence transfer service, so go double click on that. Startup type should either be automatic or automatic delayed start, and server status should be running. If it's stopped, you want to select the start button, and then select apply and OK to save that change. And now you want to scroll down to the Windows Update service, right here, double click on that. Again, do the same thing, select apply and OK once that's done. So close out of here. Another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu, type in Windows PowerShell, best match should come back on Windows PowerShell, you want to right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. So I'm going to have a few commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy the first one, and then go up to the top bar of the Command Prompt window, right click on it, left click on Edit, and then left click on Paste to paste it in. It should start with Set Execution Policy Unrestricted. So you want to go ahead and just type the A key on your keyboard. So once you have that, hit Enter on your keyboard. I did capital A, so you should be able to do lowercase a as well. So once you're done with that, now you want to go run the second command here. So again, just copy from my description, go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. It starts with a period followed by a forward slash, and make sure you get all this in here, and hit enter on your keyboard. And now you want to paste in the final command, so same methodology we used before. I'm going to tap A on our keyboard, hit enter. And now you can close out of the Windows PowerShell window, restart your computer, and hopefully that should be about it. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.